After learning how to mix and some watercolor techniques and how to shade and think about some perspective, we are now going to take that I those ideas and work them together in a nice landscape painting. You should have a piece of paper that's sort of about the same size, half the size of a piece of regular paper or maybe a teensy bit bigger. It's, let me measure it, what is about six by ten or something close to that and it's kind of uh, has a little bit thickness to it and it, it when it's a little bit less bendable than the other papers and it should have some little bumps on it right all right so here we go you should open up the picture of the painting that we're doing so you can see what you're doing and put that off to the side of this and then I'm gonna look and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and find the things farthest in the distance and try and find a horizon line and when I look out there I see that the oceans going across and there's a nice little set of trees and I'm gonna look and the gauge along the edge of the picture how far up or down it is from there and when I look at the picture it looks like maybe a third maybe is sky and maybe two-thirds is water sand and trees so I'm gonna put a nice uh, well, maybe right about here and you can see I'm I'm not doing just one line I'm not getting a ruler we don't want to do that anymore we want to kind of just sketch it with our our hand All right so I'm gonna put on a horizon line and I'm thinking that's not quite, I don't like that quite yet. I'll go a little lower. It's not a big deal. We're going to paint over it, if, even if you don't get rid of all your line, right? There, that quarter inch could make a big difference on this guy, so I'm going to make it just a little lower. Let's get a nice sky. All right. Then, if you look at it, you'll see that there's a kind of little strip of land that kind of comes out. I don't know, it's not in the center, because the center's here. It's a little off to the center, so I'll get a little check mark there, and I'll kind of look at it, and then I'm going to look from my horizon line down along the side of the picture. I'm going to see where the water kind of goes off, it kind of goes off the edge over here, and, the, and you can still see water. It's kind of got a curving point going along there. Goes back, gets skinny kind of curls down. I'm kind of curving around so it makes it seem like it's believable that people could like walk around on this point. Take a little walk out there. All right? And then I'm going to take a little bit of time to make that point go out so it looks like there's some sandy curve there. And then I'm going to put on some trees. I'm going to look. I have trees there. There's some sky still up left over here so I'm going to put a little bit of space in between the top of the tree and you can see I'm just looking for the edge of the tree I'm kinda doing a little little dance there's this one that sticks up over here there's a couple of ones that are sticking up right you don't want to draw each individual tree but you kinda wanna get a few little bushy feels to them and you can see they're getting pretty small you gotta leave some room for sand so I'll make this guy get short over here and I'll work my way back up to the other one, doing a couple dips where I see it on the painting. All right, trying to think about how some might be individual shrubs more in the front, and some might be a little bit going along. There might be a whole other layer here in the front, and as you can see, there's a little dark area that runs along down at the bottom there. It makes it pretty dark, so I'm just asking. So now I've got on a little bit of trees. I've got a horizon line on and I've very carefully done the edge of my water. Now we're going to tackle the sky. If you look at the picture there's a lot of clouds over here and there's less as we get over this way. Right? They get more stratospheric over here and thin and crispy. So in I'm going to draw just the edge of the cloud and you know that's going to change as as things go on, right? You know, clouds move. If you don't get the cloud absolutely perfect shape, that's okay. But something sort of close is going to be helpful for when you're painting in. And I'm just, I'm wiggling my hand. I'm taking my hand. I'm kind of, I'm not trying to get a straight line. I'm trying to wiggle it around it, right? And then I'll keep what I don't, what I don't like. I won't reinforce. I do it real light at first. And then when I get something I like, I darken it up. 
just a little bit so I can barely see it. It's a white cloud, so you don't want to like do really dark lines because that won't work very well for you. Put a little, there's like two pokey lines, kind of stratus, I don't know, that's like pokey clouds going across over in here, All right? And sure, they're not turning out exactly the way I see them. If you want to sit there and do it exactly the way, that's okay, but nobody will know. Kind of, sort of close to get the idea that there's clouds that are moving across the sky here. There's a couple real thin ones running along here. They're a little higher. And there's maybe another little guy up along in here. It's a little smaller, maybe like, so he looks like he's in the distance some. All right. And that's kind of a hint of where I'm going to put these guys. Leave these areas a little bit lighter in the sky. All right, so I got my horizon line going along. Still like it. I've got my sky kind of plugged in here, kind of the bottom of where my clouds are going. And now I'm going to do the edge of my water. There's some sand up in here, so we got to get a quarter of the sand. No, this seems a little bit too extreme right now. I'm thinking maybe I want to adjust this a little bit so it's not quite, not quite as steep, maybe. Be a little bit more like that. All right, and then I'm going to take my, let's see, it goes up, goes up a little ways. I'm looking at this edge of the slide, you know, at the picture, and seeing where, how far up the edge it is that the water comes. I'm kind of thinking like that, and then it kind of trails off, kind of trails off here, but you can still sort of see sand. So I'm going to get like a little cupped motion, so it kind of feels like you, you could walk along the beach there. And I'm going to put another layer here that's going to start out, remember your perspective, it's going to start out skinny, get a little bit thicker. Let's maybe move this down a teensy bit. Get a little thicker as it comes forward, right? Things get bigger as they come forward. So here's the water coming down. It's maybe even skinnier back here. All right, a little skinny patch of like wet sand. And then the sand is getting wetter as it comes to the front, right? It's being covered up with a little bit of water, and it needs to get wider as it comes up front here. Oh, yep, I'm starting to like that. Does it have to be exactly perfect? Look at all the lines I've done. It does not. And then you can just take your little pink eraser, your kneaded eraser. I like my kneaded eraser for this because it takes half of it away, and then I can, like, reinforce whatever I want for the other part. Now, if you don't have uh, good bones in a building and you put in cheap electrical and then you don't really you put in plumbing but you cut corners, you're going to have problems later on when like things break or you get a water, uh, water flood from bad piping or something. So having good bones is helpful. So you can see I'm spending a little bit of time working on how things go and where they go. Please spend some time yourself on it. All right, then I noticed that the sky, uh, the ocean's like darker in the back here. So I'm going to just put a little line where I see it kind of getting a little bit from dark to light there. And it seems to do it so wider over here and skinnier over this way. So, And then I kind of see a little bit of almost, I don't know, kind of wavy kind of reflection stuff going on over here. So it's there's a little spot that's like coming out that looks like a little trail here. And there's a couple other ones going off like this. And I'm just putting these on real light so when I go to paint it in, I'll know to put just a wee bit more color. See, there's like this darker blue after it gets off of the sand. That's like really beautiful in here. And it's kind of like just draining back and getting lighter in this area. And it gets darker as it goes into the distance, right? All right. Almost done. So you need to spend time to do a drawing at least as nice as this, and then you need to turn it into.